looking to sell their stocks, it leads to crack a drop in the price of the stock. So now we have to see if how far this drop will go. So the sellers started selling from 900 and got the stock to 600. But at 600, some buying emerged. Some short term buyers or uh, value buyers, they, they <coughs> created demand here and the stock reached. The highest point from here is this. This the buy, this buying was not very strong because it failed to take previous high. Then selling resumed again, but this time the lowest point it made is this. 620 which is above the last point so i can say that this the group of sellers here involved here are weaker than the group of sellers here it also means the buyers involved were stronger because they stopped the drop in price at around this level and they managed to take the stock higher so there is a battle going on between buyers and sellers but here so far the buyers are winning because they are not letting the sellers bears in the stock break the previous low of the stock. So this is how I analyze the tone in this particular trade and see from here the buyers managed to take the price to almost the previous swing high but they failed to cross it. Now I have to see if sellers are able to break this level or not but if you see they could only this time bring the stock to 720 level so this is a very healthy uh, contraction here if i can say so far the buyers have an upper hand if you want to do the calculation to confirm it what you need to do is you need to calculate the volat volatility drop from this point this is the highest point of first contraction to this and then calculate let me calculate for you <clears throat> this high is about 900 and this low is about 595 so this is a drop of 34 percent from here it's 815 to a drop of 615 of drop of a contraction of 24% so last time it was around 34 this time it's only 24 it's not a great drop because ideally it, the contraction should be half of the previous one so if this is 34 the best would have been 17 or 18 somewhere around that but it's not really damaging i would still continue to look at the stock now if you the third contraction this was first this is second now the third one look at it by just looking at it i can say it's the contraction is way smaller and it's a very healthy sign that this stock uh can take out this high very easily let me just calculate this level this high is 795 and the lowest point is 724 so this contraction is comes to nine percent last one was 24 percent this time the drop is way more than 50 percent it has now come to nine percent this is a very healthy sign so a good vcp always has three contractions look this is one this is two and the current the latest one is three and the third contraction is the most healthiest one it stopped at nine percent so now for me this is the highest point where i can i would place my buying bid and uh, do my calculations before a stop loss calculation the quantity calculation which is called position size for taking a trade which i will explain you how i do that so if now you see this was this happened day before 
if you place your bids here 795 the stock actually went because this is the line of least resistance look at the the force of the candle now the buyers are back the volume is high how easily it crosses this level because this all the selling from here to here was absorbed the supply was absorbed by these buyers now this line was very easy to uh, take out and with very little buying this price this level was crossed and from 795 the stock touched 845 in just one session so this is how healthy bcp looks like there are certain exceptions there's one more factor there should be a price con along with the price contraction there should be uh time contraction also so if you see here the time taken to form the first base is this is 4th january and this is 19th march so about two and a half months from here to here this is 19th march to 10th may so almost two months here so not a big drop like just like there was no major price volatility drop similarly the time drop is also not massive but it's acceptable but if you see in the latest contraction the time drop from two months is only five days it's only five days so it's way more than 50 percent it's a great exceptional sign that you will see rarely this is the reason why i had decided to take this trade so when i decide to take a trade what i the only thing that i know is that this trade has high probability of working in my favor that's all i know i do not know whether this trade will give me 100 percent returns in two days or it'll take six months all i know is that it has high chances of working in my favor when you accept that when you accept this fact that you can only control your decisions based on what you're looking and forget about the outcome your trading will get a lot easier you will not pressure yourself you will not really expect a uh, stock to give you 100 percent and if it does not uh, uh, you will not feel stressful so all you have to do is you have to do what's in your hands the outcome is not in your hands you have to just pick the right trades at the right time and then let the stock do its job so here let's say let's just take this trade in real example i'll tell you how i calculated <coughs> uh, my stop so i know that i will enter the stock above the high of this price the high is 795 let's say i will 796 so let's say i will enter once this level is taken out let's just take my buying uh, trigger price as 797 so I have this uh, I have this sheet that I will send you after the seminar ends where which is which I use to calculate my stop and uh, the quantity that I will buy. So my entry price is clear based on the charts. it's seven ninety six. the entry this is where you will. Uh, enter this price now i will show you how i calculate stop let me pull up a slide for you okay stop loss calculation you need to plot an indicator called atr which is average true range it's available in all the software all the websites but because i only use spider i will show you how I, it works here you need to plot a 20 period atr on the daily chart change the period to 20 and click add this is your atr value so on this date 16th of may the atr value was 34.88 what i do is i take 
twice of this value to calculate my stop so in this case my buying is 796 let's 797 i'm sorry the atr is 34.88 let's just say 35 so twice the value of atr on a 20 period comes out to be 70 now you need to deduct 70 from the buying price the number comes out to 727 that's your stop loss that's where you will place your stops now go back to the sheet where you calculate the quantity put 727 in this red box and you will get four options of at different risk levels i'll, ex I'll explain you which level uh, i start with and which level one should start with when starting out i've taken a, a default uh, setting of net worth of 110 lakh here so if you have let's say 10 lakhs in your account and you want to take one trade this sheet will let you calculate the quantity based on the risk that you have in this trade here the risk here the risk is 9.2% on investment but if you i'm sorry the risk is so if you place you do this calculation you have to when you take the first entry you have to risk only half a percent of your account total money that is available with you in this case it's 10 lakhs so half a percent of 10 lakhs is at risk in every trade when you take uniform risk you the entire process gets mechanical you will use less emotions because you it gets a lot gives you a lot of stress when you take too much risk and more so when the position goes against you so to eliminate the emotions and bias we always take one figure where it's uniform with every trade so in i start with half a percent risk per trade even after an experience of what six seven years i still do not take more than the, my first entry is always with half a percent so if i have 10 lakhs and if i put this buying price and the stop loss price this is the quantity that I have to buy it this it takes into account the brokerage and the commission that you have to buy so i know that i have to buy 50 shares at i have to buy 50 shares at this price so now i have the stop loss level and i know my quantity how much i want to buy at this level I will place my buying bid here of 50 shares and I'm in this trade now with 50 shares because this is a very recent example I will do the post buying evaluation every day and will decide whether it's behaving good whether I should stay in it add more or cut it and get out of the stock my main objective is one should always be risk averse we all especially the beginners they always look for at profits my advice to you is look at risk first calculate your risk let the market do the rest for you if you have done the right risk management if you have placed the right amount of bet on a particular trade 
and you don't interfere with your process the market will give you good returns as long as you find a good trending stock so in this case this is a recent example so we will follow up so in few days we'll get to know whether this is working right or not and i'll give you another example where vcp worked the stock called sorrel infra when i had traded it it used to be known as sto1 let me pull the stock so this is how it looked like when i was watching it back in 2016 17th of june this is the daily chart and this is how the weekly chart looked like so on a daily chart if i zoom in there was a clear uptrend my first requirement of vcp now the stock is in consolidation pulling back but let's see if it's pulling back in the right manner if you see this is the first contraction then it contracted only this much and then there was the third contraction from here to here let's just calculate these numbers if you do the calculation from here to here it comes out to let's just do a live calculation this is 160 this is 120 this is 25% drop from this point to this now from here 151 to 120 drop of a uh, contraction of 20% so from 25 to 20 not a good drop so i will not really get excited in this trade but i will not stop looking at it and i'll evaluate for more days to see if it's setting up right from here it's 140 to 127 the drop is 9% so from 24 25 to 20 now the drop is more than half percent and it has three contractions which is what i need three contractions and a healthy drop of more than 5 or uh, 50% this fits my vcp criteria i will place my bid on the highest point of the latest contraction which in this case is 140 the same way now i will now i know my entry price i will put my entry price here do my stop calculation the atr on the latest candle is latest bar is 10 double of this value is 20 so 20 you need to deduct from your buying price entry price comes out to 120 now there is one exception the risk here comes out to 14% on this particular trade i normally do not go more than 10% so i will 10 is my maximum limit so let's i think 10 works out to be this is 10% this is where my max stop level loss level is so i will enter at 140 and my risk i will get out at 12650 like i said this is my first entry in this particular in this stock so i will not risk more than half a percent of my total net worth on this account on this trade i mean so this gives me my position size which is 
400 shares. I will place my bid just above 140 and see how it pans out. On 17th of June, this is how it looked like. And it filled me the very next day. Closed at about 140.70. I was in this trade here. And now my I'm I'm invested in this stock. Now I need to view it, review it on daily basis after the closing and see if it's setting up right. If there is a need to to stay in the stock, add more, or uh, just if there is a need to cut the trade or no. So I will go one by one and see how I'll show you how it turned out for me. The next day, this is how it opened a gap up and closed at the highest level, a very good sign. And this gap up was with volume. See here, good sign. There is absolutely no reason for me to close this trade. This is one reason. These are the stocks that I look uh, where I want to add more and make most of it. When you start a trade and from the get go, you get you are in profit. These are the uh, trades that you should invest more instead of looking for a new stock to invest. You are look for the right opportunity in the same stock. This is known as pyramiding. This is how you buy on the way up. So we just don't buy without just because it's going up we wait for the right opportunity so my first i would give you my first indicator is like if the stock is five percent has gone up five percent up from my entry point this is then i would look for a re-entry or a place where i can add more of this stock the stock is already uh, up here by more than five percent and uh, now i will look for in coming days I will look for an opportunity to add more. The next day, this is how it opened and closed even higher with equally high volume. I'm happy, but I don't have my second trade yet. Now, the stock, there was some profit booking. There was, it fell from 170 to 155, but it has no volume so i have no reason to worry i have to give the stocks uh, the room to do its own thing and unless there is a massive drop with volume or my stop gets hit which was 126 i will not close this trade you i have to stick to the process which i have stuck to to get those huge gains because that's the only way you can uh, get massive returns there is one more thing that i would like to uh, cover here how to trail your stops when the stock is already in up in your favor so you entered at 140 the stock is already 162 you trail your stop by using the same atr the atr here is 11 now almost so the twice of 11 is 22 now on this bar the closing price is 162 so i deduct 162 from uh, i deduct 22 from 162 the value comes to 140 so the trade which was uh, initial stop was 126.50 now my new stop is i have trailed it to 140 now i can say that i am at a break even it is a huge psychological win you cannot lose money from your pocket in this trade. Now my first entry is free. I can look for another entry, go for bigger risks because my first trade is, is already giving me, uh, is free for me. So this is how I uh, go and take bigger risks in the same stock. Now, after two days, the stock fell to about, almost hit my stop but never really triggered it and uh, next day there was a relief a bounce next bounce to about 152 
for three days the stock went into sideways motion because and with no volume this is a healthy sign i want to add more of it and i will add like i said the volatility was from here to here then it went from here to this level so this is my highest swing level i will place my new buying bid above the high of this level which is what i did now the same thing use the same atr value to calculate your stop in this case the value is 12 11.77 11.77 .77 if you see so the twice of it is 24 above this is where you will enter your trade above 161 deduct 24 of them from 161 and you will get your stop loss level but like i said this is i cannot take more than 10 percent so i will reduce it to i will keep the max limit to 145.50 now this time as i said i'm going to take bigger risk because one the stock is already proven itself my first trade is free i don't have any risk on it i will not lose money from my own uh, pocket so now i'm willing to take bigger risk and make the most of it this time instead of taking half percent risk per trade i'm going to take one percent risk using these two numbers this comes out to be 600 shares and i placed my bid just above this so you will place your bid above 161 for 600 shares your stop is 146.50 so if even if it hits stop if it if it hits your stop the maximum that you can lose in this trade is one percent of your account but there is no limit to how much you can make if this stock really does well so your risk is only one percent let's see how this stock turned out for me it filled me the very next day and went on like this for next four days it made a high of 235 and this is how it looked now you trail your stop using the same atr calculation atr value here is 14.5 twice of it is 29 you deduct 29 from the closing price which is 226 comes up to 197 is your stop the price went higher there's a new high closing so we will do the same calculation again the atr and trail your stop the atr now is 15.6 let's round it off to 16 twice of it is 32 we deduct 32 from the latest closing price which is 237 32 out of 237 comes out to be 205 is your trailing stop you have two positions one at half a percent risk and the second one was where you took one percent risk now your stop is one uh, sorry two zero five both your trades you are in profit you cannot lose money from your um from your account and you have locked in some gains your first entry was at 140 the second was at 161 and now your trailing stop is two zero five and after two days it stopped me out so final figures is 205 i'm sorry now i'll show you the trading log that i used to record all my trades this